What is up guys and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're going to be looking at the expanded form of decimals, or in other words, partitioning decimal numbers. So stick around, let's go. We're going to look at these six different decimal numbers, starting from a green chili challenge and working our way up to a spicy red challenges. So remember, the expanded form of decimals basically means to partition our number. So when we're looking at 0.41, we can see how we have zero ones, so we don't need to put anything for that. And then I have four tenths, so I'd have 0 0.4. And then I have one one hundredth, so I'm adding it to 0 0.01. Or in other words, four tenths added to one one hundred. And it's as simple as that. That is how to partition or expand the form of a decimal number. Let's have a look at the second green chili challenge, 2.46. Well, I would have 2 as my whole number. I'd add that to 4 tenths, which would be 0 0.4. And I'd add that to 6 one hundredths, which is 0 0.06. Or in other words, I'd have 2 whole, 4 tenths, and 6 one hundredths. And I'd add those all together. Let's step it up to an orange chili challenge, 45.2. Well, 45.2, I'd have 40 plus 5 plus 2 tenths, which would be 0 0.2. Or in other words, 40 plus 5 plus 2 tenths as a fraction. 5.022 would be 5 whole, 0 tenths, so I don't need to worry about that. 2 one hundredths, which would be 0 0.02. And then two one thousandths, which would be 0 0.002. All looking at it with fractions, I'd have five whole added to two one hundredths added to two one thousandths. Let's step it right up then into our red chili challenge, looking at some large numbers, looking at some numbers with lots of decimals. 17.724 would be a 10 added to a 7, then added to 0 0.7, because we have 7 tenths, added to 0 0.02 for my 2 one hundredths, and then added to 0 0.004 for my 4 one thousandths. All looking at it as a fraction, I'd have 10 plus the 7 plus 7 tenths plus 2 one hundredths plus 4 one thousandths. Sorry, that's a bit squished at the end there. I'm running out of paper. And finally, 56.74 would be a 50 added to a 6, added to 7 tenths, added to 4 one hundredths. Or in other words, 50 plus the 6 plus 7 tenths plus 4 one hundredths. So we have these two different ways of showing this partitioning or showing them the expanded form we can either show it with decimals or with fractions but either way what we're doing is we're breaking our number into all of its individual components now it's your turn have a go at expanding these decimals in both the decimal form and the fraction form press pause on the video now good luck and there you have it that is the expanded form of decimal numbers Hopefully this makes it clear and easy to do. If this was helpful, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're going to find loads more videos for everything you need to know about your year group's maths. But for now, guys, see you in another video. Peace out.